Often we need to find a particular term in a geometric sequence. Remember, in a geometric sequence, we get from one term to the next by multiplying by the common ratio r. For example, if the first term of geometric sequence is 5 and the common ratio is 3, we can find the first few terms like this. We write down 5 for the first term. Then we multiply by 3 to get the second term, 15. Then we multiply by 3 again to get the third term, 45. And we multiply by 3 once more to get the fourth term, 135. We could keep going on like this to find subsequent terms. But what we're asked for is the tenth term of this sequence. It would be very time consuming to find the tenth term using this method. Luckily, we can use a formula to find any term we need. We'll call the first term of a geometric sequence a1. In order to get to the second term, a2, we multiply term 1 by the common ratio r. So the second term, a2, is a1 times r, or a1r. To get the third term, a3, we multiply term 2 by r. a1r times r is equal to a1r squared. To go from the third term to the fourth term, a4, we multiply term 3 by r. a1r squared times r is equal to a1r cubed. So term 4 is a1r cubed. Notice a couple of things. Firstly, all the terms start with a1, the value of the first term. And secondly, the exponent on r is 1 less than the term number, or n minus 1. Here the term number is 4, and the exponent on r is 4 minus 1, or 3. So we can create a formula for finding a particular term, a n, where n is the term number. Term n, or a n, is equal to a1 times r to the power of n minus 1. Where n is the term number, a1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. Given this formula, if we know the first term, a1, and the common ratio r, we can find the value of any term in a geometric sequence. For example, we're given this sequence and asked to find the value of the eighth term. n stands for the term number, so we can state that n equals 8. The first term of the sequence, a1, is equal to 3. To find the common ratio r, we can take the ratio of term 2 over term 1, or 12 over 3 which is equal to 4, so we can state that r is equal to 4. We can double check this. We see that to get from one term to the next, we always multiply by 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 4 is 48, etc. So now we have all the information we need to find the answer. We can start by writing down the formula a n equals a 1 times r to the power n minus 1 n equals 8, so we can replace both n's by 8, giving us a8 equals a1 times r to the power of 8 minus 1. a1 equals 3, so we can replace a1 by 3, giving us a8 equals 3 times r to the power of 8 minus 1. r equals 4, so we can replace r by 4 giving us a8 equals 3 times 4 to the power 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 equals 7, so we can replace 8 minus 1 by 7, giving us a8 equals 3 times 4 to the power 7. 3 times 4 to the power 7 equals 49,152. You might want to pause the video and check this on your calculator. Finally, we can state that the value of the eighth term of this sequence, a8, is equal to 49,152. Let's do another example. We're given this geometric sequence, and we're asked to find the value of the seventh term. Because it's a seventh term, we can state that n equals 7. The value of the first term, a1, 
is 4096. The value of the common ratio R can be found by dividing term 2 by term 1, which is 2048 divided by 4096. This works out to 1 half, so the value of R equals 1 half. We can see that multiplying each term by 1 half gives us the next term. For example, 4096 times 1 half is 2048. 2048 times 1 half is 1024, etc. Now we have all we need. We'll write down the formula an equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1. n equals 7, so we'll replace the two n's in the formula by 7's. The value of the first term, a1, is 4096. r equals 1 half. 7 minus 1 equals 6. 4096 times 1 half to the power 6 is equal to 64. You might want to pause the video and check this on your calculator. Finally, we can state that the value of the seventh term is 64. We'll do one more example. We're given this geometric sequence. And we're asked to find the value of the tenth term in this sequence. Pause the video and try this one on your own. When you have an answer, resume the video and check your answer. We're asked to find the tenth term in this sequence, so n equals 10. Term 1 is negative 2, so we can state that a1 equals negative 2. Term 2 is 8, and term 1 is negative 2. So the common ratio r is 8 divided by negative 2, which is negative 4, so r equals negative 4. We can see that multiplying each term by negative 4 gives us a value of the next term. Negative 2 times negative 4 equals positive 8. 8 times negative 4 equals negative 32, and so on. Now we have n, a1, and r. So we can use the formula a n equals a1 times r to the n minus 1 to find the value for the nth term n is equal to 10, so we'll replace both n's in the formula by 10. The first term, a1, is negative 2. The common ratio, r, is equal to negative 4. The exponent 10 minus 1 equals 9. Negative 2 times negative 4 to the power 9 comes out to 524,288. Again, you might want to pause the video and check this on your calculator. Notice that all the even terms in this sequence are positive. Since term n is an even term, it makes sense that our answer is positive. Finally, we can state that the value of the nth term, a10, is 524,288. So in summary, the formula a n equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1 is a very useful formula when we want to find a particular term in a geometric sequence. Make sure you memorize this formula and know how to use it.